everyone can we quickly go ahead can we quickly go ahead and summarize the chapter of itc can we all have a super quick revision everyone super quick revision for itc everyone now input tax credit everyone over here section number 16 section number 17 section number 18 always remember section number 16 itc ka chapter section number 16 went ahead and told you eligibility and condition section number 16 one went ahead and told who is eligible everyone registered person is eligible to take the itc of the good services on both which he is going ahead and using in his business section number 16 two went ahead and told condition to take the itc everyone number one tr tr condition you should have the tax paying document section number 16 to a went ahead and told you should have the tax paying document that is what is the tax paying document sir tax invoice revised tax invoice bill of entry correct everyone isd invoice debit note all these are tax paying document if you have the tax paying document you can take the credit now a, a has also has been introduced for your number 22 which goes ahead and says that sir you can go ahead and take the credit only only when the front person has gone ahead and paid the tax to the government and it is appearing in your gstr to be right everyone only then you can go ahead and take the credit r for receipt of good services or both you can go ahead and take the credit only when you have received the good services or both however if you are receiving the good services or both in lots itc on the receipt of the last lot yes everyone also deemed receipt ka concept is there sir when my agent receives it it will be deemed that i have received it in case of bill to ship to models always receive, always remember when the recipient receives it is deemed that you have gone ahead and received and on the basis of the bill you can take the credit section number 16 to c goes ahead and says that sir tax paid to the government you should have paid the supplier should have paid the tax to the government only then i can take the credit r for i have to go ahead and file the return under section number 39 only then i can go ahead and take the credit then section number 16 to me one more proviso is there one proviso is if you have gone ahead and received the goods in lot itc on the receipt of the last lot or installment second proviso is you have to go ahead and make the payment to the supplier from the invoice within 180 days if you don't make it post 180 days the amount has to be reversed and uh, the tax has to be itc taken has to be reversed along with interest at the rate of 18 percent right everyone no reversal will be there with respect to supplies under rcm sir supplies without consideration and on that part of value of supply which has been made by the recipient sir if later i make the payment to him whenever you make the payment to the supplier you can take the credit again there is no time limit then we have tr tr done section number 16 3 went ahead and told if you are taking depreciation on the tax component don't take itc if you are taking itc don't take depreciation section number 16 4 maximum time limit to go ahead and take the credit with respect to invoice and debit note remember they are not linked anymore invoice is separate debit note is separate whenever you receive an invoice the time limit is next year ka september September month ka monthly return ka due date or actual date of annual return which was earlier whenever you receive debit note it is always next year uh, what is the date sir September month ka annual return so if this year ka one debit note is there that debit note ka credit you can take next year by September month ka monthly return ka due date or actual date of annual return whichever is earlier then we had section number 17 section number 17 one told if you are using something for business purpose non-business purpose itc with respect to business purpose section number 17 2 if you are using something for taxable supply and exam supply you can take the itc with respect to taxable supply including zero rated supply now how much to take how much not to take government told in section number 17 6 rule number 42 and rule number 43 rule number 42 told please take first of all t total credit say t1 will go non-business purpose sir exam supply t2 t3 is block credit you will get c1 credit out of the credit this credit you can take the itc in the e-credit ledger out of this whatever taxable supply related t4 is there 
we have to remove and you will get common credit which is basically C2. Out of C2, you have to remove D1 and D2. D1 is, sir, C2 multiplied by A by F and D2 is 5%. This 2, you have to add it to your, basically, you will, you will not go ahead and take it. You will go ahead and put in your GSTR 3B and basically this credit you will not be taking. So, this credit you will take and this credit you will go ahead and put in your e credit uh, in your gstr 3b saying that this amount of credit i am ineligible and government will give you the net credit only right everyone then are you guys able to understand here if it is 1000 rupees here if you have gone ahead and put in your gstr 3b 500 then you will get net how much 500 only in that month can i go ahead everyone and then whatever credit you are eligible out of the eligible credit is known as c3 out of the common credit eligible credit is known as C3, right everyone, then we have rule number 43, rule number 43 went ahead and told, sir, whatever asset you are buying for non-business purpose and exempt supply exclusive, don't take the credit, whatever asset you are going ahead and buying for taxable supply plus exempt supply, mark it as A, right everyone, if any asset was earlier used for exempt supply, now using it common, then also it will come in a and earlier it was used for exam supply now used for common credit you can take the itc and also you have to calculate tie yes everyone earlier an asset was used for taxable supply you have taken the credit now you are going to use for taxable and exam supply then what will happen then it will again go in apportionment and you will not take the credit again because you have already taken the credit aaa will give you tc tc divided by 60 will give you TM, TM into E by F will give you TE, TE and TIE should be added to your output tax liability. I hope you guys are able to remember this. Sir, now we have section number 17, one done, business purpose, non-business purpose, 17, two, taxable supply, exempt supply, section number 73, exempt supply means nil rated supply, wholly exempt supply, non-taxable supplies yes everyone nil rated wholly exempt non-taxable supply but government went ahead and told for apportionment in section number 72 exempt supply basically you have to go ahead and consider as nil rated wholly exempt non-taxable supply ka transaction value sir if it is basically as per section number 15 if it is rcm ka supply that is also to be considered then one percent of sale value in case of transaction in securities and land and building ka Sam duty value also has to be considered. Interest will not be considered as exempt supply except in case of banking company and transportation of goods from India outside India also will not be considered as exempt supply. Right everyone, transportation of goods by vessel from India outside India also will not be considered as exempt supply. Then the last one over here is 17, 4 which went ahead and told what? Sir, banking companies, always remember, they will take 50% credit of input, input services and capital goods received in a month. This is one option. One option is go for apportionment, rule number 42, rule number 43. Another option for banking companies, input, input service, capital goods, take 50% credit. If you are going ahead and buy, taking from your distinct person, input services, take 100% credit. If you are going ahead and buying non-business purpose kill something, don't take the ITC. And sir, if you have gone ahead and taken something which is block credit, don't take the ITC. Option availed ones cannot be changed during the year. And when you are taking input services from distinct person, always take full credit. Then we have section number 17.5, which goes ahead and takes, talks about block credit. Number one is motor vehicle, motor vehicle for transportation of passenger. Then we have vessel and aircraft also, right everyone? Then, sir, we have food and beverages, outdoor catering, health services, leasing, renting of motor vehicle, vessel, aircraft. Yes, sir, you, do you guys remember? Club and health and fitness center and travel benefit given to employee on vacation. Then the third one which we had over here, works contract service taken for immovable property, construction service which you have gone ahead and taken. Then we had composition tax, you will not get the credit. Sir, what was the next one? And RTP will not get the credit except of goods which he has gone ahead and imported. Then, sir, goods if they are gifted, ITC also gifted, goods lost, ITC also lost right everyone and then we had the last one if you are going ahead and paying anything because of a demand order confirmed on because because of you are trying to do some evasion under section number 74 if you have paid some taxes 129 130 detention caesar get time pay also you can't go ahead and take the credit right everyone anything missed out block credit then we have section number 17 
सेक्शन नंबर सिक्सटीन डन एवरी वन सेक्शन नंबर सेवनटीन एंड सेक्शन नंबर एटीन सेक्शन नंबर एटीन वन वेंट एड एंड टोल्ड सर एटीन वन ए एटीन वन बी एटीन वन सी एटीन वन डी रेड विथ रूल नंबर क्रेडिट कैपिटल गुड्स का क्रेडिट इज नॉट अलाउड then b case was voluntary registration race grant of registration certificate say one day prior whatever input is there you can go ahead and take the itc sir c went ahead and told about sir these two are already registered person composition dealer becoming normal person that day he start paying tax under section number 9 one day prior input ka credit also you can take and capital goods also you can go ahead and take capital goods will be 5% reduced per quarter or part thereof then d went ahead and told if you are supplying exam supply now your supplies became taxable supplies the day your supplies became taxable supplies one day prior whatever itc was there you can go ahead and take with respect to imports and capital goods 5% reduced then baba all these special circumstances may 182 went ahead and told you can take the credit only if invoices are up to one year up to one year old invoices you can take invoices older than one year you can't go ahead and take the credit third went ahead and told if you are going ahead and transferring your business you can transfer the credit just go ahead and file itc 02 in case of distinct person if you are going ahead and transferring itc 02 a yes everyone and always remember when you are transferring you have to transfer on the basis of assets ratio fourth one went ahead and told sir if you are a normal person now becoming composition or you are supplying taxable supplies now your supplies became exempt supply in that scenario whatever itc is there you have to go ahead and reverse with respect to inputs in stock input in semi finished goods and input in finished goods capital goods also you have to go ahead and reverse the credit but capital goods is monthly calculation then we have section number 185 which went ahead and told please follow rule number 40 and 44 okay sir we will go ahead and follow then section number 186 went ahead and told if you are going ahead if you are going ahead and supplying capital goods and plant and machinery on which you are going ahead and taking the itc you have to pay tax on transaction value or reduced amount of itc whichever is higher in case of mold dies etc which are sold as scrap which are sold as scrap tax on transaction value yes everyone i hope you guys are clear till here we had three circulars over here number one circular was relating to the merger yes everyone always remember in case of demerger when you are transferring the asset you have to transfer on the basis of state wise that is distinct person wise right everyone when you are going ahead and transferring the assets you have to transfer on the basis of state wise and not you have to go ahead and transfer on the basis of state wise not all india basis when you are going ahead and filing itc 02 only in those state where you both are registered third one apportionment formula has to be applied to all forms of business or reorganization reorganization not only de merger then sir when you are going ahead and applying the apportionment formula apply on the total amount you are at liberty to go ahead and transfer from whichever head you want and then when i am going ahead and transferring the credit credit i need the itc balance multiplied by the apportionment ratio itc balance on the date of filing itc 02 and sir apportionment ratio on the appointment date of t merger then we had over here one circular circular went ahead and told if you are giving gift as free samples always remember if it is supply then itc will not be then itc will be available if it is not supply no itc available two or more supplies given together 1 plus 1 free is two or more supplies given together all the inputs shall be available component manufacturer ka one circular was there sir if you are going ahead and giving one component manufacturer is there one original equipment manufacturer if component manufacturer told i will buy the mold give you the goods and if you have gone ahead and bought the mold and given it to him first of all mold pay whatever itc is there you have to reverse secondly when you give it to the component manufacturer fee of course he gives you the he gives you the supply in the value of supply the amortized cost of the mold has to be added but sir if you went ahead and told in the contract that i will give by the mold and give it to you that time you can take the itc also and amortized cost shall not be added right everyone here we are done with a quick revision of your chapter of itc congratulations people